পাকিস্তানের বীর মুজাহিদ চূড়ান্ত সৈনিক আমরা জাতি সব সীমান্তে নির্ভয় নির্ভী পাকিস্তানের বীর মুজাহিদ চূড়ান্ত সৈনিক On the 20th of June 1947, 141 East Bengali legislators from the Bengal Legislative Assembly voted on the partition of Bengal, with 107 supporting joining Pakistan's Constituent Assembly if India was partitioned. <laughs> the Silat region in Assam voted in a referendum to join East Bengal. After the creation of the Dominion of Pakistan, those 141 legislators, in addition to legislators from Silet of the Assam Legislative Assembly, formed the East Bengal Legislative Assembly. The Muslim League Sir Khwaja Nazimuddin became the first Chief Minister, and later as the second Prime Minister of Pakistan from 1951 to 1953. He was succeeded by Narul Amin in 1948. In 1962, Dhaka was declared Pakistan's legislative capital. During the 1960s, the East Pakistan Provincial Assembly was housed in Jagannath Hall, within the vicinity of the University of Dekcha and the High Court of Dhaka. It became the Pakistani province of East Bengal, later renamed East Pakistan, one of five provinces of Pakistan, separated from the other four by 1,100 miles, 1,800 kilometers, of Indian territory. After the partition of British India, East Pakistan faced economic challenges. Dhaka, the capital of East Pakistan, had a rich industrial history. Historically, it was a center for textile production, particularly the famous muslin fabric, which was highly valued in international trade. During British colonial rule, the city's textile industry faced a decline due to various factors. Initially, the Dhaka radio station was located at the Nazimuddin Road in Old Dhaka. Its maximum transmission range was 45 kilometers. Layla Erjuman Banu performed on the first day of broadcasting. After the territory eventually fell into Pakistani rule in 1947, the station in Dhaka became a part of Radio Pakistan. In 1954, broadcasting started in Raj Shahi. On the 8th of September 1960, the radio station was moved to a modern office in Shahbag with six professional studios. More regional stations were opened in Silet in 1961, Savar in 1963, Rangpur in 1967 and in Khulna in 1970. Due to the strategic importance of East Pakistan, the Pakistani Union was a member of the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization. For instance, despite having 60% of the population, East Pakistan's share of central government development expenditure was as low as 20% during 1950-51 to 1954-55, only to peak at 36% during the third five-year plan period i.e. 1965-66 to 1969-70. Historically, East Pakistan enjoyed a higher rate of gross enrollment in primary and secondary education compared to West Pakistan. This clearly demonstrates that East Pakistan had the highest share of primary and secondary school age population. The economy of East Pakistan grew at an average of 2.6% between 1960 and 1965. The federal government invested more funds in foreign aid in East Pakistan, even though East Pakistan generated a major share of exports. However, President Ayub Khan did implement significant industrialization in East Pakistan. The Kaptai Dam was built in 1965. Construction of the dam started in 1957 and was completed in 1962 during the era of President Muhammad Ayub Khan. Dam was constructed on the Karnafuli River and man-made lake located in Rangamati district and the Chittagong Hill Tracts region, southeastern part of East Pakistan. Pakistan after partition in 1947 lacked a jute industry but had the finest jute fiber stock. As the tension started to rise between Pakistan and India, the Pakistani felt the need to set up their own jute industry. Several group of Pakistani families, mainly from West Pakistan, came into the jute business by setting up several jute mills in Narayanganj of then East Pakistan. 
The Eastern Refinery was established in Chittagong. The project was initiated in 1963 by a group of Pakistani entrepreneurs. The refinery complex was installed on the bank of the Karnafuni River at a cost of Taka 151.7 million. It went into operation in 1968. Dhaka was declared as the second capital of Pakistan and planned as the home of the national parliament. The government recruited American architect Louis Kahn to design the National Assembly complex in Bekcha. The East Pakistan Provincial Assembly, known as the East Bengal Legislative Assembly between 1947 and 1955, was the provincial legislature of East Pakistan between 1947 and 1971. The legislature was a successor to the Bengal Legislative Council and the Bengal Legislative Assembly, which were divided between East Bengal and West Bengal during the partition of Bengal in 1947. It was the largest provincial legislature in Pakistan. Elections were held only twice in 1954 and 1970. Bangladeshis are confused sometimes as a nation. There are still a majority of Bangladeshis who are still pro-Pakistan. They will not openly reveal their love for Pakistan because of the backlash they will receive from pro-Bangladesh forces but they are certainly very active online. Oh, my dear, stop, 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 stop